Hello everybody, welcome back, my name is Arius, and this is my third video in Arcturus, this time after a 50% drop a few days ago. Make sure to check out the first two videos, which will be the first two links in the description, and without further ado, let's get right into it. First, let's talk about why Arcturus dropped 53% Tuesday, and it all comes down to the data that was released after hours on Monday that led to three downgrades Tuesday morning from buy to neutral. Disappointing antibody titers played the biggest factor in the drop, and we'll talk more about this later. I was also slightly disappointed in the timeline for the rollout of the vaccine as well, although I think the analysts expected this. In my opinion, this increased the risk of this play as it increases the chances that the vaccine is not effective enough to be widely commercialized. However, I will talk about why I'm still long and why I still have open orders to buy more. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about what I didn't like from this release, and that was the lackluster immunogenicity data and disappointing timeline. In reference to the rollout timeline, they are targeting a Q2 start for their phase 3 trial and are looking to apply for EUA in the US in the second half of 2021. I found this outlook disappointing as I hoped they would be looking for approval in the first half of next year. However, I will outline later how they will still have an opportunity to capture market share. While all of the 44 participants did seroconvert, analysts called the immunogenicity data underwhelming and the neutralizing titers disappointing and unexpected. As you can see, the mean binding neutralizing antibody titers for all dose regimens were within the range of the titers observed from convalescent sero. However, they were definitely at the lower edge. I was not able to find data points that I was sure were directly comparable from either phase one trial of Pfizer or Moderna, but from what I understand, their antibody data was stronger than that which was put forth on Monday. However, the last paragraph in the statement Arcturus released left hope that the vaccine could still be as effective as Moderna and Pfizer's. It showed that the main factor in the effectiveness of the vaccine in mice challenge trials was T-cells, meaning that the vaccine could still be just as effective as Moderna or Pfizer's even with the stated immunogenicity data. This and the fact that all patients did seroconvert leaves the door open for Arcturus to still have an effective vaccine available in the future. Let's dive deeper into the Arcturus' team's thoughts surrounding the T-cell immunity. The team speculated that Arcturus' vaccine did not generate a large antibody response because they generated a large T-cell response, as evidenced by the mice challenge trials referenced earlier. They also pointed out that immunity took effect about two weeks after the first dose of Pfizer and Moderna's vaccine in their phase three trials, and any increase in antibodies after this point may have been unnecessary to stave off infection. At the very end of their call, Chief Development Officer Steve Hughes pointed out that the fundamental chemistry of their vaccine was different because they are using star technology, and this may be why it drives a higher T-cell response. I'm still bullish on Arcturus for the short term as well as the long term. In the next year or so, Arcturus still has an opportunity to launch a COVID-19 vaccine, and I have worked out the numbers here that show that opportunity. On the screen now are every major vaccine player that I could find and their estimated vaccine production totals for 2021 and how many people that will vaccinate. Keep in mind that the bulk of this production will come later in 2021 as the production process scales up. With these numbers, which I understand will be far from perfect as I am sure I've missed some candidates, some companies will over and underproduce. But if these numbers are anywhere close, then there will still be a huge amount of unvaccinated people left going into 2022. Keep in mind that the bulk of the worldwide vaccinations will happen in the back half of 2021 due to the ramp of production. Therefore, Arcturus still has a huge opportunity if they are able to release their vaccine in late 2021 when it appears they will be ready for approval. They will have until then to get the manufacturing process perfected and start stockpiling product. Even if they were only to sell 100 million doses to the remaining unvaccinated countries at $70 a dose, they would bring in whopping $7 billion in revenue in 2021. It's also important to remember that COVID-19 vaccines could still need an annual booster, and this could become an annual revenue stream for Arcturus. This brings me to talk about how low expectations have been set after this event. Analysts now expect Arcturus to lose $0.35 cents a share in 2021, whereas earlier this week they were expected to make $0.20. Cents. They have lowered revenue estimates to levels that I think are a given for 2021. Arcturus would have to sell roughly 8.2 million doses, a drop in the worldwide bucket, at $20 per dose, which is the price point Pfizer is selling its two-shot vaccine at. This leaves tremendous upside as Arcturus could easily sell their doses for double or triple that price due to the cost savings afforded to the governments while administering a single-shot vaccine. They could potentially deliver many more doses of their vaccine in 2021 as well than the 8 million doses required to meet the expectations, leaving multiples of upside in the short term. Obviously, this is not financial advice and you should do your own research, but my most conservative productions have Arcturus delivering 15 million doses and charging $50 per dose, which would give $700 million in revenue in 2021. That's about 
4.5 times the analyst estimates, which obviously leaves upside to boot in 2021. The real reason I own this company is not for their COVID-19 vaccine, but for the long-term potential that their star platform provides. As I went over in the first video, it provides superior characteristics to all of their mRNA platforms, and this is what will drive long-term value for Arcturus. To wrap up this update, while the immunity data and the timeline of the program are disappointing, the T-cell dependence leads me to believe that they will be able to launch a successful single-shot vaccine in 2021. However, I will keep a close eye on any news coming out with regards to this stock as a sign to increase buying or maybe or perhaps take some or all off the table. And I will cover all of these updates on the channel, so stay tuned. So what do y'all think about Arcturus after the huge drop in stock price and the release of the interim data? Will they ever revisit their 52-week high? And what's their long-term potential? Leave it all in the comments below, along with any feedback you have for me on the video. Subscribe to stay tuned for more Arcturus updates. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.